Friday morning. Yeah, uh, it's strange that we normally use the word policeman in yeah. Hong Kong still, yeah. where most of the movies nowadays yeah. are saying cop. Yes. Of course, if you are uh, keen about environment protection, climate change, and also global affairs, when I say cop, you will think of a different thing. COP21. So today we're going to talk about COP21. The and climate change conference. Climate change, and mo but more about locally about energy saving in Hong Kong. And to do that, we got Vincent Wong, founder of Hong Kong Solution on Wheels, and Andrew Work, editor-in-chief of Harvard Times. So let's get into it. All right. COP21 ends today. Uh, our secretary for the environment has been over there. I question the role that Hong Kong could play because, you know, I think this kind of thing, if you want to make a difference, it's got to stop, start at home. You know, we're not like India, Hong Kong, you know, not like India, China, U.S. doing some big global deal, yep. you know, however that turns out. But if people in Hong Kong really were interested in this, right, they would think about how they generated energy. And I wrote an op-ed that we published last week at Harbor Times. Go ahead. And one of the things that really struck me, there was a great piece in National Geographic, and it was about how people in different parts of Germany had decided that they wanted to get off coal in particular or to get off nuclear. Mm. And they were like, that's it. We're not going to wait for the government to come up with a solution. And there was this one guy. He went around. He got in his community 521 ah, investors. and they come up approach. Bottom approach. And they built their own windmills. Ah. Right? And in another community where they went to the municipal government, and they're like, municipal government, you go, we, want, we are mandating you. We're electing officials to go to the, uh, the utility to give us a renewable energy solutions. So they've got this big facility that's got solar. Now, I'm not suggesting people in Hong Kong put a windmill up on the roof of their building because that's a tall order. I don't think the but, buildings department who approve it anyway. Well, here's no, the, the EMSD. Here's the thing: like in, China, and like in China, you see those solar water heaters yeah. everywhere, which can help us to you know reduce our gas use. Or even out in the new territories, you know, people could be doing the villages, but people here don't have an appetite for it. They want their energy reliable, which they don't even think about. I asked some of my staff, "Have you ever been in like if you grew up like in Canada? It's reliable, but you still have energy outages. There's a big blizzard or something happens, and you're like, okay, and you're ready for it." Here, when I talk to my staff who've never lived abroad about energy outages, they're like, what, you mean like an oxygen outage? When would that happen? Like, they can't even imagine. Price. The way Hong Kongers use energy, the price is obviously right. Like, people say, oh, could be more, could be less. With the air conditioning and the neon lighting, and, like, people just behave like... And then the government subsidized it for all these years until they finally cut the subsidies. So nobody here has an issue with price. Uh, then there's environment. People have an issue with environment. Mm. If you can't see across the harbor, that happens in winter, right? Then people get excited. Summertime, eh, they don't care so much. They're worried about other issues. So I don't see Hong Kongers banding together like the Germans to come up with their own solutions. Well, unless we have to face the ugly truth that you have to pay more to keep our environment clean. Otherwise... Yeah. But here's the, the Germans... They create their own investment vehicles. Yeah, you know, and they, but, they choose but, but, to pay more. They yeah, don't wait they for choose the to pay more. They choose to upfront invest. Yes, right? but in Hong Kong, people just sit back and yada yada yada. Because they're satisfied. Yeah, they're so, not upset. If if they thought it was too expensive, they'd be out protesting. It's a mindset change which we advocate here. Think about the smoke outside. Think about what you can do. And if you like our analysis, please like our Facebook page, Solution on Wheels. And also our YouTube channel, and also uh, Twitter at Harbor Times, yeah. Facebook with a U, with a U. All right, we're always with you. Okay, so Vincent, good work, good solutions. All right, cheers. See you.